Hi, welcome to the Mom Series, The Misunderstanding of Multiplicity. I'm going to be talking really, really fast because I am up in my bedroom here. I'm going to try to bright lighting and make a video. And I can't dust in this sleeping. And the phone keeps ringing and the doorbell keeps going. And uh, since like the minute I sat down to do this video, I'm a lot of interruptions. So I'm going to talk fast to try to overcome any further interruptions. I there's been a lot of topics I've been wanting to cover and there's several topics I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be talking today about Trudy Chase and the troops. Uh, but there's several topics I've been wanting to cover and I, I had been trying to lump them all together and I really believe that uh, some topics deserve their own video. And this is one. Nothing makes me more joyful than to know that people are moving on with their life and finding help, especially if they've been traumatized when they were younger, as they grew older, no matter the trauma, if it was medical, if it was emotional, if it was in a group, if it was incest, if it was molestation, no matter, to know that people are going forward and not getting stuck. It really, it gives me hope. It gives me hope. And I know a lot of people will write sometimes and say, oh, that I'm an inspiration or whatever for being out here and talking about. And I haven't been talking about much out here because I, I let my voice be diminished. And not only my voice, but everyone within the mosaics. I, I got fearful of their voices and what society would think. And just about the time I was about ready to back away and not talk so much, even though last year I said, we are all going to do our own videos. And just about the time I began to shy away and think, oh, well, you know, no. Um, along comes a project that a woman, uh, Carrie Ainsworth, Trudy Chase's daughter, Trudy and the Troop's daughter, really, um, has been working on it for years since uh, Trudy and the troops passed away on March uh, 10, 2010. So the website that Carrie has been working on is up and running. It's at www.trudychase.com. T R U D D I C H A S E dot com. Uh, it's a beautiful website. For those of you who have seen me making announcements, I, I always spell, until now, have spelled in public Trudy's name wrong because I didn't know you could add it to the dictionary a different way in my auto spell check. And I thought if I left the little line on there that the auto spell check gives you the little red line. Everyone can see that red line. So I always changed it to what they gave me, which was not the way Trudy's name is spelled. So it's spelled T-R-U-D-D-I-C-H-A-S-E. If you go to the website, um, it's beautifully done. And I know Carrie, this was quite a tribute to her mother's dream and desires and the troops. Um, there's a little bio on Trudy Chase uh, and the troops. Uh, it says, Trudy Chase was the author of the book When Rabbit Howls in 1987, an autobiography about her experience after being diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. Now, back in the day, it was called multiple personality, but now it's known as DID. Trudy was born near Rochester, New York, and grew up in, a small, in small nearby towns. In 1990, the autobiography was made into a two-part ABC miniseries retitled Voices Within the Lives of Trudy Chase, uh, which cast Shelley Long in the title role. Uh, Trudy worked very closely with the screenwriter to ensure the adaptation was genuine. This is written by Carrie, her daughter. So the book that is coming out is the Creature of Habit, A Journey, written and illustrated by the troops for Trudy Chase. And 
carry is completed, the troops work too truly, which I find. Well, there could be all kinds of crying going on here, and ugly cries, and all kinds of crying, so I'm just going to keep reading this. Creature of habit, a journey, is about discovering one's path to emotional freedom from the trauma of abuses. Wherever our wounds have come from, and however deep, there is hope in capital letters. The creature of habit's journey is brought full circle when he finally learns he has a voice and to cry is an emotion not to be denied. And that just speaks volumes there. No matter the voice, the voice could be a swearing sailor, uh, a crying, hysterical, a raging, um, and it could be a howl, a primal howl of a rabbit. It could be that, that primal cry. But to deny your voice and to deny the people within your group, or what some people call altars, to deny them their voice uh, is really where the sickness continues. So, Trudy, for those of you who don't know a lot about Trudy chasing the troops, they were not only the first group, multiple group, with 92 people, altars, that we know of at the time that wrote the book, um, who wrote of their journey, who, who wrote to each other in a form of they began journaling and it became a book. And uh, Trudy just wanted to get the word out to not abuse their children, to not abuse children, to be cautious, to be cautious of their spirits, to be cognitive of pre-verbal and babies, what they're taking in, their little sponges, and how it impacts their soul and their body and their mind. And uh, they functioned very well together because they developed together and they protected each other. And I know oftentimes I am the first to stay out here. There is no one protector. There is no role of protector, role of persecutor, role of organizer, role of, of a shy one or whatever. These are traits. But I think the book, When Rabbit Howls, uh, says it better because it shows an entire group taking care of each other an entire group protecting each other, preserving their own personhood, and Trudy's, the, the baby, was being hurt. So that's why I often say, I, in, in the group I'm in, I know the mosaics take care of each other. We are our own support system. We are our, we do protect each other. And I don't know of one person that protects more of you. Um, although there's more motherly or nurturing figures, what the book, When Rabbit Howls, really brought out to me was, one, everyone's taking care of everyone. There's a, there's a means to the end of, of what may, might appear peculiar or odd or even crazy. There's a very sane means to the end, end to the means of all that. And two, uh, they coined the phrase co-running and co-fronting, meaning we're all together co-conscious and we're doing the same thing together and we're, we're sharing it. And a whole new concept of choosing not to be integrated in the medical trauma model of psychiatry integration. Choosing we can all be whole and fluid together, not integrating and teaching so many multiples to not get stuck in do do your work of your, whatever's in your past do your work it'll come up to bite you in the butt every now and again you'll have your ups and your downs and your flows and your ebbs and your ins and your outs but there's 
you continue going forward, always, together. And the greatest example of a healthy group that I can ever find in this world is Trudent Chase and Troops. And if you go to the website, which I hope you will, you can also go to Facebook and Carrie Ainsworth has uh, made a beautiful page for her mother. And you just go to Trudent Chase, like the page, share the page. I, I ran off and wrote Estrella right away. I, I told Carrie, I'm going to write Estrella. <laughs> Estrella tweeted it out. And, uh, I, did I write Kinhost? I, well, it was on Facebook, so I know you saw it. Chris saw it. Um, and I, I know everybody's excited. The book is coming out. And also, if you go to the main page of the website, uh, it says the books and videos. If you look under books, well, first, if you look under the home, it gives you a little description about uh, the book. But if you look under then books, there's The Creature of Habit a Journey, which is coming soon. And then there's a new cover um, for When Rabbit Howls, which I like better. It's really uh, bright blue. It's got a blue, green, red. It's, it's different than the older, for those who they got the older book. Well, it's just a revamped book to buy. And then the actual movie, Voices Within, The Lives of Trudy Chase, you can rent it. Here's where you can rent it. And uh, so I know you, you can see it on YouTube, but it's not, not quite the same. There's, this is better. So uh, that's under news and events. and No, that's under books. And then if you go to the news and events, there's all the little updates of the proceeding of getting the book done, almost complete. Uh, all that news and then a very important go to contact and there's a little box that says chat with Trudy's daughter and you can chat with Carrie Ainsworth um, her phone number's there her address she's got a little thing to chit chat back and forth um, I think this is the greatest honor a daughter can do for um, probably something that overwhelmed her, frustrated her, made her sick as a young child at times, as a teenager, feel, you know, maybe it was all about her mom and where's my mom kind of thing. But I gotta say, Carrie is a very holistic young lady and I, I met her out on Facebook and everything integrative nutrition, holistic, massage, service dog. She's very, very mature about knowing that her mother loved her and the troops loved her and realistic about, um, about the, knowing that the troops existed and for a, a purpose and um, they did well together. So I really appreciate whenever I see people really getting it. Carrie really gets it. Um, so you can you can go ahead and like the page and share it on Facebook, and then go to the website and by all means get the book when it comes out. But now might be a good time to reread when Rabbit Howls, and then when uh, when. Um, Creature of Habit, a journey comes out, it'll be awesome. So I just wanted to make that video and then later I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a video about um, a subscriber out here sent me a video. He, he sent Nick from Athens, Greece. You send me videos often about what's going on in multiple land and uh, videos being made and I wasn't going to respond to the one you sent me uh, but I am in another video. Um, because I think it's important. Okay, have a great day. I hope you're all doing well. Bye. Thank you.